I'm here in the middle of the desert, all the way in southern Israel, close to Stay Road, close to the Gaza Strip. And what we heard from the Israeli army is that the greatest need that the soldiers have right now is when they're in the field, here in the middle of nowhere, with no electricity, with no running water, with no bathrooms, with no food, with no drink. What they need when they're stationed here for days on end is just a cup of coffee or a bottle of Coke or a television or when they're stationed away from their families for days on end, sometimes even weeks, a telephone that they could call their wives and children and hear their voice. Something to tell them that they're not alone. And so the fellowship has come through. We have this fellowship band that comes in the middle of the field. I drove down a bumpy road that's not even a road to the middle of the desert to get it here where there are Israeli soldiers training for the next war to protect us. And the fellowship band came, opened up, and is giving out coffee and a phone to call their house and a candy bar. It's the simple thing of giving them morale and strength to continue doing their job. And so now we're down south, but what they need is another one up north. With everything that's happening with Syria and Hezbollah, we need more soldier, soldiers stationed on the north, which means that there's more soldiers away from their families, away from their children, away from all of civilization. And so what we need to provide them with is a simple cup of coffee, a simple can of soda, a telephone to call their wives, an internet to know what's going on, to connect them to the outside world, and to give them the morale that they're not alone, that we stand with them and we thank them for their service. So join with me now. We could only do this with your help to provide for the Israeli so soldiers stationed in northern Israel a fellowship ban of love. I've spoken to so many people who say if war would break out in America, Christians, that they say we would put on the Israeli army uniform and come out and fight. We would protect Israel, do anything for the people of Israel. And right now this is your opportunity to stand with the soldiers of Israel. You can't don uniform, you can't pick up a gun and come here to Israel to protect your people, but this is what you could do to strengthen Israel's soldiers, to strengthen Israel's people, and to keep the people of Israel safe. So join with me in getting another fellowship van for the northern soldiers of Israel and come together to tell them that they're not alone.